Hey, my creative crafties. So, okay, it is Memorial Day weekend. We've done everything that we need to do. So, of course, you'll get to see that my husband is one of those ones that like to entertain. That's why I'm so big. Okay, but we're going to work on that too. So, but anywho, I make a hamburger that my cousin has named the Bogetti Burger. So I'm being that they've named it the Bogetti Burger and it's very, very famous when we get together. Um, we're trying to eat a little more healthier, cutting back on the salt and just using natural um, stuff and we're turning to turkey burger, turkey burgers. Um, and the one thing about a turkey burger or turkey meat, period, if you don't season it, um, it's not real good. So, but anyway, I like the Shady Brooks from saying, I'm, my, my son will have to show me how to turn my camera around so you can read it the right way and not backwards. But um, Shady Farms, and it's pretty good. It's 90%, 93% lean, 7% fat. Um, and the one other thing about turkey meat, it doesn't have a lot of grease in it. So we're getting away from a lot of grease, a lot of salt, and trying to do things natural. Um, so I've already washed and prepped my peppers, my onion, um, and these are just your um, your sweet peppers. Not no heat, just peppers for flavor. Um, so I'm going to grind these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I, I left something out. I left out the garlic. So this is a clove of garlic. And of course my husband like, well, babe, everybody might not know how to peel a garlic, a clove of garlic. So, and being that I'm trying to stay fresh, and natural and keeping everything natural it's cheaper for me to use the fresh garlic and I just grind it up here in my um, processor so with the garlic you just basically want to cut this bud off or this bud as I've already done and you just peel the clove out and they pop out pretty easy like that so once you pop it out you pull that outside um, hull off and you can cut this tip off. My husband is in here making so much noise. I just um, So and then you just you just peel off this part of the skin really really simple um, Just peeling it like like so like you would maybe a Banana Let's see that's the clear hole and it should come out white like a little almond so after I get these peeled I'm gonna rinse them off and grind everything up and then I'll be back to show you how to mix it up hold tight okay I have all of my vegetables chopped I have my onion the garlic the variety of peppers. I didn't use green peppers this time because green peppers give it more of a meatloaf taste. Um, so, as you can see, and that's two family packs of turkey, turkey burger. And now that I've got that done, I always put an egg in. The egg gives it protein and moisture. I don't know what it does. It's just, I put an egg in it. So, and I guess maybe that'll make it taste like a meatloaf as well. So, that we don't get shells in it. I crack it in a bowl to make sure that there, there's nothing in it. We're going to add that. Um, and some of the other stuff that I normally add does give it a little bit of sodium, but not a whole whole lot because you don't want them to be um i like for my burgers to be good okay okay so i do i will add a little bit of garlic powder even though there's garlic in there 
I still add a little garlic powder just to make sure that every bite is a is a good bite. And I just basically just pour it over the top, just over the top. And then um, I add pepper. And then I top it off with my sweet baby rays. Check that out pretty good. And just, I eyeball it. Ooh. I think that was shaking up pretty good much. I eyeball it just, yeah. You don't want to, you don't want a barbecue burger. You want a bogetti burger, baby. Okay, so I do, I just mix this up. You know, it's, it's old school and my hands are clean. So just mix it all up, mixing it really, really well together. Trying not to spill it on the floor, Mimi, like she normally does. Um, and you want to make sure that the egg is blended well. And my husband is either going to put these on the gas grill. Well, no, he has the smoker going, so he gonna, he's going to smoke them. And they're going to cook really slow. But then being that they're going to cook slow, that's going to give it that smoke taste. And not only will they give it the smoke taste, it's going to give it a really good flavor. So, when my guests arrive, I'll let them be the judge of the boat. Get it, baby. Okay. So, and like I said, you know, turkey meat is a meat that has to be seasoned well because if it's not seasoned well it's not good and a lot of people don't like turkey because it takes a lot to season it but if you start using like the natural peppers that i like i've done and you know just do your own thing with it and i'm you know we need to stay away some of that salt some of that sodium um this barbecue sauce that it does have um four it's four percent sodium but that's not a whole lot okay so i've gotten it mixed pretty well as you can see and what makes it a bogetti burger is you know once you put your burgers once you start cooking meat whatever it shrinks this turkey meat doesn't doesn't shrink that much, but you want to do a nice snowball amount here. And I roll it, pat it a little bit, and that's your bogetti burger. Okay. So I'm gonna get these pat out. I'm gonna get these pat out and. Normally, I let him sit in the refrigerator at least 20 minutes before he put them on the grill. That way, all of did I drop something in there? No. That way, every, all of the um, peppers and the garlic powder, the sweet rays, all that get a chance to settle. Then we put them on the grill, and he normally cook them however you want them. Do you want a medium way? You want to wear however you want it. That's how he'll cook it. So hold tight, I'm gonna get these pet out, and then when he put them on the oven, we'll come back to you. My son did buy me a remote, y'all, but. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me turn the camera around. So he's putting the bogettis on the grill. On the smoker. So what you say the cook time is? You gonna um? You're gonna slow cook. Them. You gonna slow cook them? Yeah. So you gonna use the thermometer? Or you just gonna eyeball them? The Look mama. at my baby. You eyeball them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's what they'll look like on the grill, smoking slow. Of course, he's gonna. He. Let me try my remote. 
Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I gotta program it first. <laughs> okay, here we go. So they're cooking extremely slow. They're gonna be full. Yes, they're gonna be wet, baby. They're gonna be good. Yeah. That one stuck a little bit, but. You got it. I don't think you put too much stuff in it. That's going to be the whole one. I mean, that's going to be soft. You got it. You got it too. Uh... He always complaining. No, I'm just saying, look how they fall before. Those ones are going to be right. Put too much shit on it. Did y'all hear what he just said? Whoops, I know this cannot be a kid friendly video. Easy peasy, we'll be back. Okay, peeps, we're back. I got this salad banging. Look at my salad. Yeah, yeah. So my homegirl, oh, showing y'all all the other extra stuff. So he has put the steak and that's the turkey burgers and Bestie just walked in. Hey, Bestie. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the extra part that goes with the territory. <laughs> so, baby, pull the um turkey burgers out so she can give a um a sample. Huh? Okay, I guess I gotta do it. I'm gonna pause y'all for. It. Okay, so Bestie is gonna try the turkey yeah. burger, and okay, we've already had the conversation about hamburger versus turkey burger. So, mm. you like Good. Mr. Charles? What you try to turkey mm. burger? So, well, we're just trying the burger right now. Mm. It's good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so there we go. So we're gonna end this video. Um, this, like I said, we have not had time to actually do. Memorial Day. So who else can you do a, mo a Memorial Day other than your besties? Hey! I toodles.